Hey, it is Sarah here. Um, so what I'm showing you right now is literally over my shoulder as I go in and use ManyChat. Um, and this is how I have been growing my email list through Facebook Messenger, ManyChat. Um, I had like explosive growth. So you probably already know that, which is why you're watching the video. So what I just did was I went ahead and I scheduled a post. Okay, so I right now I am using ManyChat to get more engagement on my page, which is one of the things that Facebook is focusing on in the future, which is engagement and interaction. They want to make sure that people are actually um, actively consuming content and not just like passively scrolling. And so they're rewarding those pages and those creators, which is really what they're calling like business owners now as creators. People who just have like a personal profile are in the consumer category. So as you can see, what I've done right here is like schedule this post and I did it just through the post scheduler, bleh, I'm like stuttering, post scheduler on the main page. And what I did was you can see that I've said I've commented wave. Okay. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to share in a live video. If you want more information, go to this post and then comment, which is encouraging people to engage and interact with my page. Now I'm going to go over to ManyChat, which is where my growth tools are. And by the way, if you are looking for and like if you're looking for a bot boot camp on like how to be a bot queen on Facebook Messenger, um, that course is coming. But I highly recommend we want to make sure your foundation is set. So before you ever take like a bot course, number one, you have to have your offer ready and created. So I would go ahead and like go through like the create or craft your um, unique offer course. And that's probably not what it's going to be called. I'll work with the specifics, but you get what I'm saying. And the second thing you want to do before taking this bot course is actually going through like the Facebook for success course where we talk about the principles so you understand what's happening. Otherwise, you're just going to be making a bot and not really doing it the right way. So not only do we want to put the foundation in there before the expansion, but we do things in the right order when we're going through my courses. Okay, so... Now I went over to my growth tools. You can see that I have a pro account. I recommend the pro account. You just, you need the pro account, um, especially if you're looking for growth. It's 10 bucks a month. It's so ridiculously cheap for, you can't even like get ads and growth strategies anymore for that cheap. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to do the Facebook comments, which is still in beta. Um, I'm going to the select a post and I'm going to go to scheduled posts and I am going to select this post, okay? And so now, remember, yes, I confirm, blah, blah, blah. Immediately exclude comments with these keywords. I'm only going to trigger comment for wave. I often add, like, misspellings because people really frick up sometimes. And then they're like, oh, my God, it didn't work. And it's like, just spill the word, okay? I, like, literally told you what to spell. Whatever. Okay. So, and now I'm going to go ahead and edit this. So I'm going to say, hey, and it's putting in their first name, right? So I'm going to say, hey, yada, yada. <laughs> this is a variable, by the way. So if you want to change this variable, you can go ahead and like click this. I just use the first name because that is making it personal, personal, personable, <laughs> and just building that connection, which really just connects people to you and like allows your personality to shine through social media, which is like the goal. That's my jam. Okay. So before, before I can, add you to our top secret update list. Please confirm a please type yes to confirm. And then I'm going to add a couple smileys in there. Like, oh, I'm going to go like this. I love adding emojis in here because people are like, oh, I get it. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, that's, that's a bit much. No, I can't answer right now. Okay, please type yes to confirm. Then I'm going to put some like smiley stars in there. Okay, yes, next. 
All right. And then I'm going to say, don't send the opt-in message. I think I can change this. Send to everyone. Send to everyone who replies. And I'm going to go ahead and edit this. Yes, I want to confirm. Okay. So, yay. Blip, blip. Yay, first name. Your. Your. Oh, come on. Farts. You're on the list. You will receive a link to the. <clears throat> you will receive a link to the. What, what do we want to call it? Like visual presentation live stream. Um, here via messenger. Yes, to stay updated. Please be sure you, okay, to stay updated on future Facebook openings. Stay updated. Make sure. Make sure you're connected on my public page. Tip. Once you click like, be sure you've selected C first so you actually see my posts. I'll go here. All right. I'm going to type Facebook page. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and open the website. HTTP. All right. Done. Okay. So I think I can add an action by the way. How did I do that last time? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. What go to flow builder I think was what I had done because when they opt in, um, I was able to add a, here we go, perform actions. That's what I wanted to do. Um, the action was add a tag and I'm going to add them to the, and I just, I always type 2019 first because I get so many growth tools in here that it's easy to like sort them by the year. So I'm going to say 2019, um, March Facebook webinar opt-in. Okay. Done. Okay. So as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to go name this growth tool. So I'm going to say 2019 March Facebook webinar opt-in info. Okay. Yes. I want to click save. I want to activate the widget. Uh, okay. Yes. Because they have to type yes in order to get to that. So you don't just want to like put a link here, especially if you don't have the thing um, done yet. But this is really easy so that when people are in the flow, when they're asking for that information, you already have that next step there for them. It does require a little bit more forethought and like actually planning out. But this is where the strategic marketing comes into play. Like this is where like that's what my brain does. I have like a very visionary strategic brain. So not only do I have like the vision for where I want to go, but the strategy side of my brain like works backwards to see the steps to like how to get from A to C and like all do all of the things in between. So opt-in actions. Did I edit the name of this? Okay. So I'm going to call this a Facebook. So webinar opt-in message. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go here. I think, did I publish this? Let's see. Cause what, how much time do I got left? Oh, good. I got 30 minutes left before I'm going live. I don't want to add them to a sequence. Okay. So I'm just going to click preview. Okay. 
Preview message sent. Check your messenger. Okay. Yes. Oh, fabulous. It's working. Okay. So that's pretty cool. So when you click preview, that actually shows you and it's pretty fudging outstanding. Or f should I say fudging? Or I like, you know what? I like forking better for those of you who have watched The Good Place. It's pretty forking outstanding. So now I can go preview this and test it out. Okay. Yes, it's working. When I click on Facebook page, yes, it takes me there, which is amazeballs. And so that's how I'm getting the engagement up on my page. Because at the end of the day, um, I am really, really loving, not loving my hair right now, <laughs> total workout hair, but um, I'm loving the growth that is happening on Facebook and how that's actually affecting my other platforms because it's just awesome. So yeah, I'm all about that multi-channel marketing. But each, you know, each thing has its own like place. So anyways, okay, now what I can do and I'm going to show you is I can actually get pre post engagement up here, because I can go ahead, go down and comment wave before my post is even freaking live. And you can get people commenting before it's even live, which is awesome. And that boosts the engagement before your post is even launched, which is crazy. Okay, so there we go. Awesome. That is it. That is how you can boost engagement easily on your page using the Facebook bot. And just you get to see like over my shoulder how that happened. And again, um, the place that I would recommend starting first, if you haven't already, is setting your page up for success. Like the very basics, and like we talk about, you have to have your foundation before you can move into expansion. And the bot and the bot strategies are in like the expansion portion of that. So let's get you building your foundation. So if you haven't already, that Facebook course is coming live. Like it is live. I have a pre-enrollment special. Now, I was even talking to my hubby and um, some of our community, and I was honestly going to charge like $4.97 for this course, but I'm doing something insane and I'm basically giving it away. So um, yeah, <laughs> especially, especially if you hop in now before April 10th, before my Facebook event closes out, you will get access to that special price. So I will post that information down below. I will see you today at 1.30 p.m. I am going live here on my public page, like my public personal page, if that makes sense. So, all right, I will see you guys later. And if you have any questions, I don't really check the comments here on, if you're watching this on YouTube, I don't check the comments so often. Where am I going to tell you to go? Come over and message me on Facebook. If you are looking for like more personalized responses or you have specific questions, I would recommend that you hopped into the VIP community where I answer questions live one-on-one -on -one every Friday underneath of that thread. So if you'd like information on that, go ahead and click the link down below and hop into our VIP community. Okay, see you later.